to episode four of this five part series with Fidivo, where we look at a number of tools for After Effects that allow you to become a more efficient motion graphics artist. In episodes one to three, we looked at Anchor Sniper, Declutter, and K-Bar, and they will be situated somewhere around the video. In episode four, we're gonna look at such a fantastic tool called Select and Set. Now, hopefully, you should be pre-comping a lot of your layers inside of your timeline when things start to get too messy. However, if you're way past the point of no return and you have numerous layers, dozens upon dozens, and you need to start adding specific elements to these layers, it's gonna be tricky to go in and try and individually find everything. Select and set takes away that tedious nature and makes it very efficient. All right, let's see how useful this $30 plugin truly is. So I have this social media dashboard animation I've created and we have like these products and prices fly in a little later. And I would like to think that for the most part, I've kept this nice and clean. Uh, it's 19 layers large, but if I was to start clicking into these individual layers, I've got 13 here. Uh, 22 on this one, four, five here. So, you know, it's kind of a good job that I've kept it clean because if it was not clean, it would look something like this. Uh, 86 layers large. Uh, it's a very congested composition. Sometimes though, this is just what happens. You might be in a rush. It's not about organization. It's about getting the project out of the door. But when you now need to start selecting specific layers, so say I only want to grab the the pink ones here. So it's one, two, no, not that. Although that is kind of a good mistake to make. So, right, I'm being silly now. And that one. Okay, so some silly mistakes, but you know, you get the gist of it. When you're in a rush, you make those type of mistakes. Uh, in selecting more layers than you need to. But now I've got all of the pink layers selected. Is there an, e wait, I haven't got all of the pink layers selected. Okay, further my point. Um, I, <laughs> I accidentally selected a brown one. When you're trying to select stuff in a messy composition to maybe then say, I want to change the blend mode of these to add, it can get tedious and difficult when you're working in such a busy environment. So let's have a look at how select and set can really help with this. So I'm gonna to go to window, select and set, and I've already got it docked here because this is where I like to keep this extension. And now what I want to do is, let's say I want to then select those pink image files. So I'm gonna go and select this image layers. And before I do so, let's actually talk about these layers here. This is what we see in the timeline. And in fact, we can also see these properties are what we see in the timeline properties over here. Motion blur, motion blur is by there. This is our label icon. So if I open this, we can now see our label drop down menu. Everything that you can find in the timeline is up here and it gives you specific selecting properties. So I've selected an image layer and I want the label that is selected to be pink. So then I'm gonna select this, press select, and it's now selected five layers. And if I go down, here they all are. There's no holding alt, uh, holding control, trying to find the pink layer, unselecting a brown layer. It's all done instantaneously with this tool. Okay, so that's just one part of this extension. It's the selection aspect, but now we can set aspects to these layers. So let's go in and do that. First, I want to select both the images and the text layers that have a cyan label to it because I've got editor notes here and these layers, they need to have motion blur added to them. So I'm gonna press select and we've now got 15 layers selected. We have this text layer here, another text layer, uh, and then some image layers down by here. Now I'm gonna select set. And this is the exact same menu panel as the select panel, but here adjustments will now be added to these layers. So I said I wanted to add motion blur. So let me just bring more into view by here, okay? And now I'm gonna press this and add motion blur. And we can see that motion blur has been added to all of these individual layers in an instant click. So I'm actually done with these layers now. So I might 
just lock them because I don't need any further adjustments added to them and I don't want to accidentally dislodge them out of their position. And in fact, now they're locked, there's no real need to show them in the timeline in the first place. So let's hide them. Now all of the cyan text and image layers have added motion blur, they have been locked and now hidden, all within this panel and I didn't have to highlight or select any individual layer. Now, while I do aim to keep my compositions clean and friendly like this, when things do start getting a little messy, I find this tool incredibly helpful to mass select different types of layers with different properties and then alter them all with one click. All right, I've been Lewis with Fedivo and this has been one episode of our helpful scripts and extensions for After Effects. If you haven't watched the others, they will be dotted somewhere around the video, so be sure to check them out.